Storm be absolutely damned, I am streaming tonight. <laughs> Hey everybody, Skyler Stardrift here, and a welcome to the stream. And welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. It's been a little bit. Uh, I attended WAF, Western Australian Fur... Western Australian Burp, apparently. Western Australian Fur Frenzy over the weekend. Uh, that's why I was a little too tired on Monday. I wasn't sure what I wanted to play last night, whether I wanted to play Sonic Frontiers or something different. I kind of wanted to play something different. But I couldn't think of anything, and by the time... Well, let's be honest, I didn't think of anything. Because I still hadn't decided by the time I went to bed. <laughs> so, <clears throat> anyway, tonight we are back at it with Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, I am not sure how far we're going to get tonight. So, we're just going to start playing, and we're going to see. Uh, however, the first thing that I would like to do is open up my card pack, because we haven't done one. So, uh, let's open that up. <clears throat> I know for a fact that I probably should have streamed Sonic Frontiers last night, but I, I don't know. It kind of felt weird to do it on a non-Sonic Frontiers day. So I just thought, ah, oh, bugger it, I won't bother. I'll play something else, and then I couldn't think of anything else to play. Alright, let's open up our card pack for tonight and see what we get. There's only 74 card types in total on this. And I've knocked over the camera. Good job, me. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Ha 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 ha. I'm also keeping a close eye on my dropped frames. My uh, internet's being dodgy tonight. Uh, that would be because of the storm currently going on. We've had nothing but storm all day, so... Been nuts out there. Anyway, we got Gargamon. Andromon, which I think is a different Andromon than the one that we've opened previously. Cubimon. I believe we've seen you before. ADR05, Creep Hands. Labramon. You're new, I believe. When attacking once per turn, if this Digimon has jamming, gain one memory. ADR07 Pilates Hand. If you have a Mother D Reaper in play, you may suspend this Digimon to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this Digimon's DP, which is 3000. Fist of the Beast King! Security, activate this card's main effect. While you have a Digimon with Beelzemon in its name in play, you may use this card without meeting its color requirements. Main, unsuspend one of your Digimon with Leomon or Beelzemon in its name. ADR09 Gatekeeper. Security, play this card without battling and without paying its memory cost. On play, if you have a Mother D Reaper in play, recovery plus one deck. Opponent's turn. While you have a Mother D Reaper with six or more Digivolution cards in play, all of your dig opponent's Digimon gain security attack minus one. Aww, that's cute. GG mine. When attacking, once per turn. If this Digimon has Gilmon, Gramon, or Gallantmon in its name, draw one. Jerry Carto. Security. Play this card without paying its memory cost. On play, you may play one Leomon from your hand without paying its memory cost. And on your opponent's turn, when an opponent's Digimon attacks, you may suspend this tamer to draw one. Blue card. Security. You may play one tamer card from your hand without paying its memory cost. While you have a tamer in play, you may use this card without meeting its color requirements. Main, reveal the top five cards of your deck. You may digivolve one of your Digimon into one non-white Digimon card among them without paying its memory cost. If you don't, add one Digimon a card among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Hey, Gallantmon, a secret rare. Your turn. This Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. On your turn, while you have a Red Tamer in play, add 2,000 to the maximum DP. You can choose with DP-based deletion effects. And when attacking, choose any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total adds up to 6,000 or less and delete them. So, on your turn, if you have a Red Tamer in play, that goes up to 8,000 DP instead for the total. Oof. Nasty. Alright, well, let's get these two sleeved up. Now, 
Digimon and the blue card. The blue card is what they use in uh, Digimon Tamers to Digivolve their Digimon. It only appears under very specific circumstances, though. Or at least it only appears under specific circumstances early on in the series. After a little while, it just seems as though they have it on a constant basis. The whole Digimon Tamers arc is built around the Digimon trading card game of sorts. Like, they can swipe cards to gain various effects to their Digimon and stuff like that from the trading card game. Uh, Alright, where are we? Where are we going? That's where we are. Welcome back to Super Mario 3D All-Stars and, more specifically, Super Mario Galaxy. Last time! Uh, we finished up the kitchen, because we only had like a couple of things to do there, we then tackled the bedroom, and I believe we moved on to the engine room as well. I think we even beat the engine room, and we're actually on to the very last dome in the entire game, the garden, which is actually a secret room, believe it or not. We've also got enough stars already to travel to the center of the universe, in order to recover Princess Peach. However, I think we're gonna be moving straight onto the garden, finishing up the garden as much as we can, and then we'll go to see about rescuing Princess Peach. Cause then that's going to open up an entire world of purple coins and I'm going to hate every single part of my life. <laughs> Hi Papa Link, so welcome on in. Alright, let's get this party started. Oh, that's cool. You don't see Flight Mario very much. They also completely removed him in Galaxy 2. Mind you, he was a... I don't know, he kind of feels like a last minute power up in this game, to be honest. And I feel as though it's appropriate to talk about him. Because in actual fact, we're about to meet exactly what Flying Mario, what Flight Mario is. All right, let's get this show on the road. Hello, Toad. Here's a letter from Princess Peach. Again. Would you like to take these one-ups now? Oh yeah, we also got to 99 lives, which I don't think we'll be doing tonight. But, we will see. We will certainly see. I'm gonna grab that as well. Just because this dome is going to be particularly difficult. And we're gonna go upstairs. Now, do correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just going to check real quick. But I'm pretty sure we did finish everything here. Yep, Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor, we did that too. Yep, everything is done. Uh, any comments to talk about? No? Nothing? Alright, well, we're out of here then. Stand here to go down. I believe doing that connects that teleporter to this teleporter down here. And that means we can take this teleporter at any time we like. Making it a very short shortcut. Alright. Want to go to the Sand Spyro Galaxy? No thanks, I'm all good there. Remember what I was talking about with Flight Mario? Well... This is the gate! If we head in here... Thank you. 
we find Rosalina. This planet, it's very dear to me. I look forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that's been traveling with you may also grow up to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. Wow. Mama must really trust you. Well, how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins here, then you'll earn my trust too. Red stars hold the power of the red lumis. But the really amazing part about them is they allow you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes, fly! While pressing B, you can pick the direction you want to fly with the left stick. If you can collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my power somewhere else. This is what I was talking about with Flight Mario! Transformed into Flying Mario, spin when jumping the fly! This power is very, very limited. Very limited indeed. As indicated by the music. Alright, that's a good start. I've also learned that spinning attracts purple coins, which is very nice. Thank you, I'll take all of those if you don't mind. And all of those as well. That's 80. I must say that Flight Mario is probably... Ah! <laughs> when it works properly. Uh, is probably my favourite power-up if I had to... If I had to pick one. Unfortunately, we can only use it in exactly two locations in the entire game, and you'll see the other location as soon as we finish up this particular mission here. I am actually trying to get on top of this building here. To grab at these. Get up there! There we go. <laughs> 98? Hmm. Then eventually it does wear out, like I said. It's not exactly long lasting, but I suppose that's because, you know, it's not supposed to be. It can feel very overpowered. Also, the camera is 
Doing some funky stuff tonight. I am missing exactly two purple coins and I have no idea where they are. You wouldn't be hiding them from me, Luma, would you? Mm -hmm. by that pipe. At least I think I saw one. Ow. Hey, there we go. Found them all. grabbed the only red power star in the entire game. Gateway's purple coins. Galaxy completed. And a hungry Luma has appeared. I believe there's only two more hungry Lumas in the entire game. That's one of them. Now, as for what that actually unlocked... See this red star? You can use it anytime. Yep, yep, that's what Mama said. You can use this red star. Using the flight uh, Mario power up, we can actually access a couple more one-ups that we couldn't get before here in the Cobbled Observatory. We can get this one here at the top of the observatory. And there's also one, I believe around under here, which I think you can get without it. Because you can, can actually walk on these things. But Flight Mario does make it easier to grab. Remember too that when you fall off of the uh, observatory, that if you fall off the observatory, you do just get picked back up and thrown back on. You do not lose a life if you fall off. Oh, and there's one more down here as well. Underneath the gateway. Yeah, this place is crawling with one-ups. I was close, it nearly landed on the teleporter. Hey you! Yeah you! Got any tasty star bits? Need 1,200! I want to see if the uh, music's gonna run out. Hang on. It's getting... I don't think it's getting any faster.
Yeah, I think it's at its maximum. <laughs> it's not getting any faster than that. Also, it didn't run out. <laughs> Racing the spooky speedster once again. really much here so we may as well just head straight into the pipe. I only talked to Boo so get lost. Hey the name's Jillboard, listen you remember how to move around as a Boo? Shake the Joy-Con or press Y to turn invisible so you can pass through Crystal. If you ride the wind you can float even further but don't hit the wall. That's it, float up like that. Hehehehe, <laughs> so you're after it too, you'll have to race me for it. <laughs> Here we go. Well, well, I'm guess I'm taking the long way then. Collecting the uh, question marks will activate the fans. I lost. Uh, looks like I have dropped frames. I'll keep an eye on that. I <laughs> like how Boo Mario has no death animation. Luckily, it seems as though there's plenty of, um, star bits around here, so I should be able to easily regain that life that I lost. Because you get a life after 50 star bits, so it's actually pretty easy to build up the lives. That's why we got to 99 before. This is looking much better. There we go. That was much healthier. 47.23, well a promise is a promise to take this star. Take it already! And we're done! Galaxy complete! We got more star bits.
This is the garden. It's a secret room. And by touching this teleporter, we link this up to the garage, giving us an easy point of access. Back up here to the top of the observatory. Three new galaxies and one small galaxy here. The Deep Dark Galaxy. Let's do it to it! The Underground Ghost Ship. Currently on a vacay, uh, I mean, galactic survey duty. Please be patient with us, we're on an exploration mission. Uh-huh, that's definitely what you want to call it. Hey, you're not laughing now, are you, Mr. Crab? There we go, take that. Cannon, get all you can in the cannon. Now, I also know of a specific hidden star. That was interesting because I thought that might have been it, but that wasn't it. Now, I believe this launch star takes us back over to the main galaxy. Yes, it does. But what I want to do is change targets and head over this side. To a galaxy that looks, oddly enough, like the Gate Galaxy. A miniature version of it almost. Alright, maybe it's not in this mission. Because I know the secret star is over there somewhere. Take 
take care of that. Take care of you. Team is surveying an underground lake. There's a tunnel right here. Here, Toad, yes, but there's not really a way through. I could have sworn that there was a uh, secret star out that way, so I think warrants further exploration in the next mission. Nope, that's a home for an Ely Mouth. Unless I just found it by accident myself. Alright, well there's a boo here. Oh, the frickin' enemies are in the way. Fine. Leave them over here. Oh, that worked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi Arjun, welcome on in. This game from 3D All-Stars. Uh, personally, that would be Mario Sunshine for me. But then again, that's because I also grew up with that game the most. Like, I could say Super Mario 64, but technically my sister owned that. <laughs> so, Super Mario Sunshine was the one that I grew up with because that was my game. When that one came out. Alright, cool. It's not to say that Mario Galaxy isn't a good game. Right? Well, I got that hidden star, at least. 3D World or Odyssey? Odyssey, definitely. Not really the biggest fan of 3D World, to be honest. I would actually say that's probably my least favorite 3D Mario game. Right, now let's see if we can actually do this mission properly, or if we can maybe find another hidden star, because I swear there's something out there. 
I feel like that chest is actually the answer. But in this mission, it only gives us a life up. Hmm. I like the open world Mario games more? Definitely. Like, I really enjoyed what they did with Odyssey. There might be a hungry Loomer as well somewhere. It's because of the amount of star bits this gives up. Thank you, I'll take those and grab that. Right! Back we go! Take care of you because you're there and annoying me. Goodbye, Kamek or Magic Cooper. Right, well, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. That was a secret mission. So. Champions Road in 3D World? I did. Don't ask me how, but I did do it. <laughs> What's funny is that I've not actually properly completed the Champions Road of Super Mario Galaxy 2. That's because I've only really played that game 100% once. Or maybe twice? Maybe twice, I'm not sure. Oh, there's the switch that I was looking for. There we go. Done. Hello, boo. I don't think there's anything under the ship, is there? Because I remember the last time we played this, I thoroughly explored under that ship to see if there was anything there, and I could not find anything. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I will take that, though. I think there was only star bits down there. Yeah, I don't think I ever did do the Galaxy 2 one properly, but now that I think about it, I think I actually have played Galaxy 2 twice, and if I have done it twice, then that means I did do it properly on my second playthrough. But on the first playthrough, I used cheats to do it. I know that specifically. All right. Here we go again. I wasn't sure if that force spell field meant that I couldn't hit her. Oh, hi. Now you're on board. All aboard, I suppose. Thank you for giving me the means to defeat you. There. Hmm. 
Ah. Darn it, that was a, um... That was a green shell, too. Perfect. Take care of you guys. Smack. Oh, one more hit. Okay. Fair enough. I was like, Mario, why aren't you throwing that? <laughs> there we go. Alright. Yoink! I will take that. Eighty nine stars. Looking pretty healthy here. <laughs> Bubble blast off. Cannon's been hijacked. Our underground gunner is keeping us from exploring the area. <laughs> oh, bother, I missed. Really? All the way out here? You're kidding me, right? Well, whilst I'm here, I may as well check over this side. See if there's a chest over this side. Because I swear there's a um, hidden star around here. But like I said in our previous time playing this, I spent hours looking and I could not find anything. I wonder if this will work. I can smash this guy. Ugh. <laughs> I don't even have to be accurate. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I need to do anything with the cannon this time around. Oh dear, I missed that. That's bad. <laughs> Noping out of that one! I don't think I need the cannon, either. If I'm completely honest. I just kicked the fire flower away. Like, completely kicked it away. <laughs> Mario was just like, get out of here with that crap, I don't need it. I'm invincible.
so it was needed. Huh, I'm glad I checked. If you freeze these jets of water, you can use them to get up above. You mean like this? Excuse you, Al. Do you mind? That's incredibly rude, throwing rocks at people. Oh, hang on. Mario, face the right way. Thank you. There we go. wandering around here. Reactivate cannon. And up we go! Bubble blast off. Indeed it was. Now if I remember this correctly. Ugh. Ow. Why is your path so unorthodox? Gotcha! There we go. <laughs> and before that electric gate clean, uh, moves in. Oh hey, there's a toad out there. I didn't even notice it until the thing popped. Alright, cool. Star number 90. And the Daredevil Comet is in orbit. Oh boy, what do I have to do here? Ghost Ship Daredevil Run. How much of the mission is it going to force me to play? Oh, I'm going straight there! Straight in! Mario has one hit point. Oh no, Mario's arch nemesis. This single strand of rope. <laughs> All right, here we go. Like that. Hit number one. Now she'll spawn onto the ship here. That's a bit nasty, suddenly spawning up behind me like that. Hit number two. Here's where it gets a bit more serious. Because, of course, we've got the other magic keepers that I've got to worry about. Ah, oh, darn it! And I hit her as well. 
Oh, that would have been smooth, man. Oh, well. Try that again. Ow. Oh, so close. Take that, that's hit number one. Oh, do be careful. Grab that. Hit number two. And up she goes. Oh, come on, I landed on that. Ah! This is just me landing on fireballs at the most inopportune moments now. You're just getting lucky as all this is. One. Two. Up she goes. Magic Cooper's there, leaving me free to deal with Camilla. Three. Hey, I can grab her on the way out. If you don't mind, I will take that. Can you imagine if I missed that jump, somehow landed on a boo back down on the, uh, bay and died? <laughs> that would have been really embarrassing. I don't think that's actually possible because there's no boos on that side of the ship, but it would have been really funny. Alright. That means we just got Guppy and the Underground Lake. That means Guppy is down below, but I fear no fish. Guppy, huh? You don't scare me. It's about Guppy in the underground lake. Guppy in the underground lake. No, my meat, my most, my roast is toast. That Guppy is, guy is scary. <laughs> Cannon's all covered up for this mission, so we can't use the cannon. Well, if that's how I get to that, uh, secret star, then that's how I get to that secret star.
Please, you gotta run Guppy right out of here. You again? You gotta be kidding me. You wanna run me out of this lake? You gotta get through all eight rings. I'm a fish of my word. Take this. Easy peasy, that one. <laughs> Perfect. That means we can head over to the Dreadnought Galaxy. Infiltrating the Dreadnought. I have no idea where the hidden star is for this mission. Or for this galaxy, mind you. Ow! <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> Up and over we go. Activates the warp pipe. Down we go here as well. Excuse me, amp. Now that pipe over there looks pretty interesting to me, so I wonder if that's... the way forward.
smushed. I'm flat as a pancake. <laughs> Darn it. That was poorly timed, wasn't it? feeling that pipe may actually be the intended pathway. And I'm not seeing any other way out of here, so... Oh, no. Careful, Mario. That could have turned ugly. And... there we go. Steady. Okay. Ow. Come on. There we go. Well, oh, no. Ow. Ah. Oh, come on. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> That's really cool. Jump on that Goomba, grab the, the extra life. Oh my goodness. That grabbed me from a mile and a half away. See the star up there. Hmm. I'm really gonna have to lead bullet bills again. Mario! There we go, mate. Just get up. Thank you.
grab that coin before it fades away. There we go, that gets rid of that annoying beeping noise. Okay, worry about that. Crush that guy, grab the coin from him. <coughs> Could go for that one up, but I think I got plenty. There we go. Okay, I officially have no idea where the hidden star is on this. Because <laughs> I was definitely keeping an eye out for it and I couldn't find it, so it's there somewhere. Usually the game's pretty good about telling you if you've missed a hidden star or not, though. Dreadnought's Colossal Cannons. And I believe this is the Daredevil run as well. Oh, really? Wow! Okay. Don't bother with that, then. That was incredibly rude. First gate is down. Second gate is down. I gotta go back, grab all those star bits. Careful, careful. Now I'll great you guys again. Smack, smack! Oh, look at that, the double whammy. Love it. Stick around, you guys. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you can pop those cannonballs with the star bit. If necessary. Uh, I'm still not finding the hidden star though. Bye-bye. 
me. Oh, well, I missed that one. But that wasn't important. Take that. No! Mm. You, sir, are a right royal jerk, aren't you? Alright, cool. Well, that's the second star I've gotten, but still no idea on where the hidden star is. I feel like by now I should have found the uh, Hungry Loomer or whatever it is. Hmm. Revenge of the Top Moon Tribe. Ah, here's your hidden mission. Know how hard it is keeping a dreadnought clean, and then someone comes and drops a load of trash in the ammo depot? Hey, we have plenty of bombs. Maybe you could use them to blow up all this trash. Gee, thanks. Line it up. Ah. No, no, you gotta do it faster. There's always more. So come by later again if you feel like helping. Hmm. How do you do this? I mean, at least he doesn't kill me. I'm pretty sure in the original he might actually kill you if you get it wrong. I believe the idea is you're supposed to combo them, but I have no idea how to do that. Because I can't shoot them close enough for them to blow each other up.
This one's a lost cause. Those lights are useless, and don't indicate where you're supposed to be throwing these. I'm going to get this. I just don't know how. <laughs> Enough time. No. Ah, oh, there's a way to do this. I'm gonna have to look this up if this is takes much longer. Cause I have no idea where I'm supposed to be throwing these bombs. I know I'm supposed to be aiming for the little lights, and that's supposed to be a guide, but it's just not working out. Following those guidelines does not work. I'm gonna give this one more try, and then I'm gonna have to look up where to throw these, because this is getting a little bit much. Alright, fine. I'm looking this up. I am sick of this already. Uh, let's see here. So what they're saying is to do the central bombs last, and a bomb takes 10 seconds to explode, which is what I expected. Hey, there we go. 
Wow, I'm never going to take out the trash again now that I know I knew you can just blow it up. I'll take this as my thanks. I found it lying around. Maybe it will help you. Yeah, just give me that. <laughs> you blew that trash to bits. Thanks. So the lights are in a decent spot. It's just change your strategy. Don't do the middle ones until last. Then you can blow them up via chain reaction. Do the sides first. Right, well that takes care of the hidden mission, so now I've just got the Comet and the third and final mission, and I think Comet might actually be the dead of a run of the Topman tribe. Considering this is Revenge of the Topman tribe. Power lines are keeping me from my helping my friend. Spin to hit something and knock them out. Please hit the power lines with something. And also the battle helmets. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right, there's one. Get me out of here! And that's two. Thank you, in return let me create a shortcut for you. Okay, I'm going to transform! Okay. Just get back up there, Mario. There we go. That was risky. Okay, heal up my health there. Whoop! Sure, I don't need to kill all of those guys. And I'm also not gonna worry about the Luma shot. Here we go again. Thank you. And... 
too. And three, and there we go. <laughs> Perfect. So that should be the Dreadnought Galaxy done, aside from the purple comet. Oh wait, no, we got the speedy comet. Forgot about the speedy comet. Okay, let's go do the speedy comet. Top and Tribe speed run. Ah, that's what it is. Okay. Leaving us three minutes to deal with the boss. A little over. That'll do the trick. Plenty of time. Plenty. 
Very smooth. Very smooth indeed. I like it when a plan goes together. And that was a plan that went together. 97 stars. That should be the Dreadnought Galaxy done for now. And we can head to the Meta Splatter Galaxy. Watch your step! Game, I don't know where you think I am, but I'm not over there. Get out of here, Magic Koopa. Oh, lovely. I thought that was a boo mushroom, but it's not. I'm not even going to touch that. I've got plenty of lives. I'm just going to keep going forward. I think that's going to be a smart decision in the end. Game? Ah, uh, game, you got to give me someone to bounce to. God, get me out of that thing. Alright, where are we? Lucky. Maybe I shouldn't be killing my path ahead. He says as he continues to kill his path ahead by grabbing the starbits. Okay, there we go. Real cute, Kamek, real cute. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna grab that.
Watch your step, galaxy completed. Save the game. And get back up there. 5298. <laughs> the Melty Molten Galaxy, the final stopping point on our adventure. The Sinking Lava Spire. I reckon if we do this fast enough, we might actually be able to complete the game tonight. Maybe. There is still one more Hungry Luma. And I'm not entirely sure why they haven't shown up yet. And then we've got all those purple coins to do as well. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to do them all in one night. But, considering the fact that I don't have work in the morning, I reckon we could probably go for a kill shot in the game. Now that leads up into there. I wonder if I can eh, take a little shortcut over here. Nintendo thought of that one. It doesn't look like I can get up. Well, the joke's on them. I figured it out anyway. Uh, am I missing anything? Not really. Whee! Whee! Now, I remember, if I remember correctly, if I let that drop me, I end up in here. Smash this, grab a crap ton of star bits, and get out. Then take off. Hi, buddy. Need 80. How many have I got? I've got 113. Perfect. This was also another Hungry Lemur I was talking about. New planet was born, oh, let's go! One! Oh, come on! I spanned them at the right time, game. Do not give me that bull dust. Ah. Two. Three. Kick. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Mario, why were you even trying to slide down there in the first place? Well, anyway, you got the thing, so... I was gonna say, I wonder if I can make that over there. Time that wrong again. This leads to the flagpole. Hmm. A 
Hey, that is the fifth one. And I will grab that star. Perfect. All right. So that's the hidden mission already taken care of. Banning Tide. So, now we've just got the three regular missions and the Comet, and then we've got the Hungry Luma, which will eventually appear at the start of the uh, dome. The Sinking Lava Spire. Let's do this for reals. Now, I think... I may actually have just enough Star Bits... if not definitely enough Star Bits, to feed the last Hungry Luma of the game. I'm pretty sure about that. My phone is going off like crazy. Someone really wants me. What? Well, I could have timed that a bit better. <laughs> Notice how I didn't take the shortcut this time? Also, that was so much easier. I wasted so much time on that shortcut. Well, I don't need the star bits, so I'm all good there. I will just grab these ones. Whoop! That was a bit of a wide swing there, Mario. I don't know what you were thinking there. But at least you got the live stream. <laughs> Storing that little bit of health there. Right now, I'm gonna go there and then swing into that. There we go. All right. Whoops. Let's not hang around. And ta-da. On the hunt for those star chips again. We got one, two, and three, and there's four. Ow! And there's number five. Making some decent progress on this mission. Off we go again. Now, we've got to move. I'm not going to bother too much about the uh, star bits that are trapped in crystals. Unless there's a delay like that. All these are just here to distract you from your main goal, which I frankly don't give a darn about. Well, I mean, I give a darn about the main goal, but not so much the star base. And there we go. Grab that. I believe the entire top also goes into the level eventually, I 
think. I'm not sure. Either way, we got the star, so it doesn't matter. Star number 100! A big one -er. I'm hitting those triple digits, there's that hungry loomer I was talking about. Which is either 5,000 or 6,000 star bits. But to save time, since I'm already inside the dome, I may as well finish up inside the dome, then do the hungry loomer. Through the meteor storm! Bloody hell. Um, game? Fireflower. Where is? Game, I'm gonna need a fireflower in order to advance, and you're not giving it to me. Why are you not giving me a fireflower? Unless I'm supposed to wait for a meteor to strike these things? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Hang on. There we go. That's why those were constantly respawning. I reckon I could probably make that if I really wanted to, but I'm not game enough to try. Yes, I am. Nope, the gravity changes and you get sucked into the black hole regardless. Okay, you can't do that. Alright. Fair enough. Lesson learned, I suppose. On we go. Pa! Smack. Uh, I didn't lose any life for that. I suppose it's because I grabbed the, uh... The coin at the right time. Also, there's a 1-up mushroom there to restore the life I just lost. Ow. I would appreciate it if you didn't fall on my head all the time, thank you. Alright, where are we dropping? We're dropping over here. Are you guys just impervious to damage or something? I swear. Alright, star chips. I saw the star chip over there and figured there might be one there. And there's gonna be one inside this box. Dollar chip. Three. Four. Ow. Thanks. And five. And launch star appears there, which is perfect. That's why I left that one until last. I'm supposed to shoot those. They're flying towards you. Jumping over here. Ah, I see. 
Bloody bullet bills. I thought I was done with this. I just let it back to where I started. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Oh, great ball rolling. Hey, my name is Billboard. Say, we met somewhere before. Anyway, you'll need a ball to hop on that ball to get through here. Once you're on, ready your Joy-Con. Then tilt the Joy-Con to move around and press B button to jump. Try not to fall in any holes. Oh, Joy-Con! Hello? I tilted to the left. You didn't tilt to the left. Ah. Alright. Now you're just being trollsy with me, game. Don't start playing silly beggars. Let's do this and do it right. <sighs> really? Oh, bullshit, that was nowhere near me. <laughs> alright, game, alright. You seem to want to play rough. Let's play rough, then. Mario, I am moving the Joy-Con to my left. I am rolling it to my left. You should be moving to the left when I do that. Thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake! I hate motion controls! Ugh! Nintendo, why did you keep the motion controls in the game? Honestly, please. Please, Nintendo, I'm begging you. Just just kill off the motion controls. You don't need them. Ugh. This is the worst part about this game, is the bloody motion controls. And I feel as though the Wii Remote was actually better. Surprisingly. I feel as though the Joy-Con is a bit more unresponsive. Just get in there. There we go. Oh, thank goodness for that. And let's hope that the stupid Comet isn't a speedrun of that. I don't think it is. I think it's a speed run of the spire. Thank goodness. Well, if anything, I think that's where the purple points are. <laughs> 101 stars. No comments. Fiery Dino Piranha. Ah, this may be the, um... I don't know. Any three of these missions could end up being the, um... Dead Evil speedrun.
Oh, I'm not getting that. Okay, sure. What does the game want me to do here? Hi, Michael. Welcome on in. Um, sure, he just pinged right off the planet. I'm assuming the game wants me to kill all the enemies, because there's nothing else to do here. There were star chips before, but there's not now. That was in a previous mission, so I'm assuming the game wants me to kill all enemies. Yes, that is entirely what the game wants me to do. Okay. Mario, if you could stop running around in circles. Thank you. <laughs> and, oh, and over we go. Alright, careful. Whoa. Nope. <laughs> That's not what I call being careful. Alright. There's another whoop life shroom over that way. I think I might try and grab that. Oh my goodness. Okay, how in the blue blazes did I manage to do that so well? <laughs> Oh, save yourself, Mario. Save yourself. <laughs> Spam the Y button. Spam it. Ow. There we go. That's what I need. There we go. Alright, now we're off. Phew. Thanks, I'm good. Even if I am one hit point down. Crack. I love how this game ends the same way it practically begins. And smack! And... One. And three. Yoink! I will take that, if you don't mind. I think we did that pretty quick. <laughs> Michael, thank you so much for the follow. 102 stars! Alright. Yep, that's what I expected. There's the Daredevil comment. You're welcome, just being a helpful Nardo being. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly what I expected. 
can't say I'm surprised. Lava Spire dead, Evil Run. Well, at least it's not the fiery piranha. But I think this has a time limit, right? No. Must be thinking in Galaxy 2. So I know there's a level like this in Galaxy 2, but I think in Galaxy 2 they also start doing the uh, mixing and matching the comets. If the comets even appear in Galaxy 2, now that I think about it, maybe they don't. Well, either way... Up, down, all around. There we go. Whoop! Perfect. One, two, three! Now this is the tricky bit. The bit that I don't like. I'm so glad that activated! <laughs> and two! Okay, let's grab those star chips. One. Two. I fell in the lava. How far back is that going to put me? It's going to put me all the way back. Great, I love that. Because <laughs> it's a comet, there's no checkpoints. Right. Okay. to doing this a million times. Though so that said, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Off we go! Right. Let's try that again, shall we? And this time, not walk into the lava. Two. Three. Four and five. Oh! Mm. You know, game, if Mario didn't walk around in a circle when I pointed the Joy-Con in the opposite direction, that wouldn't have happened. But no, for whatever reason, every now and then, Mario just decides that he doesn't understand which way is up, and he decides to walk around in a circle. I think it's annoying. Whoop! <laughs> Careful. I mean, I hate to be nitpicky, but it happens often. 
We've seen it happen before, and I mean, I'm almost entirely positive that's exactly what happened there. And Mario just went, oh, I don't know which way is up again, and walked straight into the stupid lava bubble thing. I wasn't even that close. There should have been plenty of leeway on that one game. Alright. It's fine. I only wanted to beat the game tonight, which means doing all the stupid purple coin missions. But you're making this terribly inconvenient. I'm gonna laugh if this is the mission that costs me everything. <laughs> I really am. Like a Mario almost jumped on the beat there. Nope, don't bother with that one. Skip around that. Now, can I please grab these star chips and actually get off this stupid planet? I don't think I'm even halfway through the mission yet. Sheesh. Okay, here we go again. One. Kill you. Two. Well, two enemies anyway. Two. Okay. Three. Four. Five. Oh yeah, sure. This time Mario turns around straight away. No questions asked. No worries at all. Alright. Finally. Okay, so the... Lava Spire's cutscene actually re resets my position. How about no? That. Wait for that one. There we go. That. That happens. Up, 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 and up. Sneak a star bit. Sneak a few more. you, one, and two, and there we go. Okay, finally. There we are. Now, I believe that was it for that galaxy, right? We did all three regular missions, plus the comet, plus the hidden star as well, leaving only the purple coin uh, comment. Yep, that should be all done.
And you are the lucky last Hungry Luma. 1,600... Are you kidding? I think they have dramatically reduced the, uh... Hungry Luma limits. I've got over 5,500, so... And that's the last Hungry Luma as well. There are no more Hungry Lumas after that one. The Snowcap Galaxy has appeared. Well, off we go. Star Bunnies in the Snow. Let's play chase! Can you catch all us all before the time runs out, boing? Fast. Guess I was just going too slow. Got me! Ugh! How annoying. I think the last one is inside the chest, but I don't know how to get inside the chest. Ah, that's how I get inside the chest. And he landed in here, which makes him easier to grab. There we go. I can't believe you caught me. I give up. Here, take the star. Boing! That was lucky. <laughs> I won't lose next time. Let's do it again. Boing! Hey, you're pretty good. Perfect. It's alright if you can chase him inside one of the two holes on the planet's top and bottom, because that way the star bunnies fall in and they don't have a way to get out again. Star bunnies in the snow, galaxy complete, and even better, we are right here, right at the entrance. That's for the proto beam. Thank you. Here's a letter from Princess Peach. I will take those. And I will take a quick sip of water because now that means we've done pretty much everything there is to do before we can rescue Princess Peach. And that means... I reckon... 
that we might be able to do this tonight. What do you think? Might be a bit of a longer stream, but that's okay because I don't have work in the morning. Let's do it to it. It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? I certainly do. Let's do this. All right, then. Off we go. Come, Peach! You better hold on to your socks, Bowser. There is a warp field inside the castle! They are inside! Hurry! You know, considering you took your Comet Observatory out of its starship mode, we could be in trouble. Bowser's Galaxy Reactor, the fate of the universe. This is it for all the marbles. Oh, and maybe a princess. Mama says this fight isn't just for us. It's also about saving a special one. Please be careful, whatever you do. Don't. Fail. I'll try not to. Those spotlights have their own gravity. Try sticking to them. Stick. It is time to use everything you've learned. Up to this point. Bowser's decided to give us infinite tries. Alright. Can I just say, I love the music here. It feels very final. As it should. Familiar, yet unfamiliar. Or should I... Maybe I should say familiar, yet triumphant. At, at the same time. Up we go! He's count as ice. Which also means you might want to be a bit... Careful. <laughs> Skating on them. Normally I don't skate on them. For that exact reason. I don't know where you were going with that jump, Mario, but you weren't going where I wanted you to. Okay, up and over we go. Remember, our goal is the Galaxy Reactor. Over in the background there. Wow. 
Gee, either Peach or Bowser really doesn't want us to fail, huh? So many one-ups. Uh-oh. Oh, really? That's really, really dirty. I don't like that. And up and over we go. Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Ah! Sure, I feel as though the, um... That was close. Right, let's not make that mistake again. I feel as though the Hungry Loomers have definitely had their, um... Numbers changed. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. This is fine. <laughs> to be fair, you would expect Bowser to pull out all the stops to stop Mario. This is the last stand, after all. Oh, you absolute son of a gun. Thank goodness you didn't knock me into the lava there. I would have been salty. for Princess Peach? Too bad, cause she's with me! Well Bowser Jr, you better get not get too comfortable with her. Cause here I go! because I got plenty of those. Hi Bowser, how you doing? <laughs> Finally! You got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep! From this galaxy, I rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever! I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So Mario, as you can see, I got big plans, and stopping you is at the top of my list! I'm trying not to raise my voice too much because I know Dad's in bed, because he flies out tomorrow. Alright, let's rock and roll, Bowser. Hey, hang on, this ain't Galaxy 2. It's a bit unfair, mate, using a power-up from the second game. One. Two. Oh, is that it? Hmm. You disappoint me. Two, three, and I'm willing to bet, yep. Um, Bulldust, I pressed the Y button. 
I disagree. One, two, three, and here we go again. Alright. Oh, for Pete's sake. Alright, he's a little f too fast. Okay. Noted. Point taken. Ow. Thanks. Gotcha. One, two, and three! In on the return. If you don't mind, Bowser, I think we'll head to the next planet now. <laughs> One. Two. Oh, okay. Only two. Alright, fine. One, two, and on the return. Now, if you don't mind, Bowser, I'd like to take the fight to your reactor. Love this music too. <laughs> What's the matter, Bowser? Understand that you're in trouble. Ow. Ah. Trying to grab that coin before my uh, life counter reset. Didn't turn around fast enough. Two! Three! Take that! Stick that on your crackers and eat it, mate. <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. I will gladly accept that. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, Bowser, whilst you sit there and chill out in your reactor, I've got a princess to catch. Huh? No, I mean, literally, I have a princess to catch. <laughs> My galaxy! My empire! This can't be happening! By the way, Bowser. It just did. Although that's a slight problem.
Oh, hey, little guy. Don't worry, I got this. I'm just going to die. Can we talk about how the Comet Observatory got ripped into pieces, but Princess Peach's castle is perfectly fine? You got big. <laughs> Ate a few too many Mega Mushrooms there. Let's <laughs> get my Galaxy 2. Uh... Honestly, I think it's a bit more of a tie. Like, Galaxy 2 does have Yoshi in it. But... I find Galaxy 2 to be a little bit more... I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Six of one, half a dozen of the other, really. Do you hear the baby stars? These newborns will grow up to become galaxies someday. They sound like baby Mario. When stars die, they turn to stardust and scatter across the cosmos. Eventually that stardust performs to create a new star. And so the cycle of life continues. But the cycle never repeats itself in quite the same way. You'll see. Nice to see Peach is okay. And Bowser's mostly okay. All new life carries the essence of stars. Even all of you. I love that line. <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy. Well, that's not quite it. Uh, I'm doing the purple comments in this stream. Um, it is 10 o'clock. We have been going for, what, two and a half hours? Hmm. I feel as though, like, it would not take me very long to do them. Like, we don't have another stream worth. So I suppose we could go for it. But I'm also worried about my dad because my dad is currently sleeping. Because he flies out early tomorrow morning. So it's either we make this one a short stream and we make next week's Mario Galaxy stream a short stream. Or we do it all tonight. 
It's definitely doable, but it does mean that I will have to keep the volume down the later we go. So, I'm not sure. Like, if this was last week's stream, we could have just kept going. Because that would have been perfectly fine. But this week, just because my dad's home, I think it might be better to play it safe. I really wanted to do the purple coin missions, but I don't know, man. I'm worried about making too much noise. So I might, might call it a shorter stream tonight just for that sake. Hmm. Because, yeah, I... Mm. I could definitely do it tonight. Especially because, like, I don't have work in the morning. I don't have to go to bed early if I don't want to. I could stay up and finish the game tonight. But it's just the fact that my dad is home. And my dad is has gone to bed early. I know my sister's gone to bed early as well. So I'm a little worried about waking them up. The later we go, the quieter I have to be. That's the other thing too. It's probably safer if I... Yeah, I think it's probably going to be safer if I just end the stream here for tonight. As unfortunate as it is, and as much as I want to keep going, I think it's better if we just end the stream here for tonight, and then move on to the purple coins in the next stream. As much as I, like I said, I really wanted to do them tonight, but I don't think it's worth the risk of getting people pissy with me because I disturbed their sleep. <laughs> I had to really keep it down on that final boss fight as it was, so... Yeah, I think I think we'll call it there for tonight. Bit of a short stream, I know, especially considering I didn't stream on Monday or Tuesday. But, I think it would probably be best, in my best interest, to be quiet about it, and uh, end the stream there for tonight. The purple coins Thank await you so us. Much for playing my game. New chapter has been added to the storybook, and the purple comet has appeared. You know what? Yeah. I think, since it does return us to the title screen anyway, I think this is a great point to end the stream on tonight. Like I said, I could have definitely done this, but just because of the fact that my dad is flying out tomorrow early in the morning because he does FIFO work. I think it's probably my best interest to keep the volume down and finish the stream a bit early. So yeah, let's do that. I apologize, I know I really wanted to do that to do the uh purple coins, but we're just not gonna get around to it tonight just because of the fact that I don't want to wake my dad up. Alright, let's see if I can find someone to raid here then. If that's the case. Hmm. Oh, look. 
I see is I see Eclipse is busy playing the DLC for uh, Scarlet and Violet by the looks of things. How about we go and give them a raid? I'm often uh, watch my call it. I'm often doing the um, quote retweet tweets on their streams, so how about we go read them? All right. Anyway, have a good night, everybody. I will see you on a Monday night for more Sonic Frontiers, and I will see you on Wednesday night for more Super Mario Galaxy next week. Um, at least I hope so. Uh, I will be back to work next week. As of Monday, I'm a little bit worried about the workload because the last time I took two weeks off, the workload was absolutely astronomical. Um, so we will see what it's like. Hopefully it's not too bad and I should be still at least energized enough to do another stream because, you know, I did miss Sonic Frontiers this week, so I'm really hoping to get back to it next week. Uh, and then we'll play more Mario Galaxy and basically finish off the entire quest in uh, Wednesday night stream. All right. Have a good night, everybody, and I will see you next week. If I don't see you earlier, I might stream during the rest of the time off because I am free on Thursday, I'm free on Friday, but I'm not free Saturday and Sunday, so we'll see. But if I get, if I don't really think of anything else to do, I think I will do that. All right. Have a good night, everybody, and I will see you all next time. And I hope you have so far enjoyed Mario Galaxy, but we're not done yet. I'll see you back here next week. That is for certain. We will finish the game next week.